Uh, Mr. Speaker, this bill has longer and wider ramifications than Geoffrey Palmer's Resource Management Act. In another 20, 30 years, people will look back to this bill as the day that New Zealand moved from cancel economics to can-do economics. Mr Speaker, this bill is to provide a fast-track decision-making process that facilitates the delivery of infrastructure and development projects with significant regional and national benefits. Regions need to benefit from their resource endowments. Gone are the days of the multicoloured skink, the kiwi, many other species that have been weaponised to deny regional New Zealand communities their right to a livelihood, their entitlement to live peacefully with their environment, but derive an income to meet the costs of raising families in regional New Zealand. This purpose, this purpose will overwhelm the decrepit, irrelevant provisions of the Wildlife Act that have caused hundreds of millions of dollars of unnecessary expenditure in projects that, if they're not happening in a timely fashion, they are hobbling the interests of garden variety Kiwis who have been written out of the script, Mr Speaker, as the Resource Management Act has been colonised by green NGOs who have no conception of economic benefit, weaponised by the legal profession who have turned resource management law into a rich vein of fiscal awe. Let me talk about veins. There are veins of wealth throughout the Taipotini. There are veins of wealth throughout the South Island, and with this legislation, mining will be turbocharged. There are consequences, Mr Speaker, from voting, and the consequence of Kiwis electing this group of politicians, and we are no longer going to tolerate tainting, stigmatising, marginalising, of the rich mineral endowment in New Zealand. The echo chamber for my speech is trans-Tasman. It's global. I am already getting messages from North America, from Singapore, from Australia. At long last, New Zealand is open again for business. No more eco-romanticism. No more colonial guilt, but a very focused, a very direct level of interest upon causing Kiwis to be more resilient, causing Kiwis to be able to afford to live in their own country, not watching their sons and daughters go to Kalgoorlie and dig up Australia, whilst parliamentarians on that side of the House oppose daily the mining industry, they quietly hide as we bring Indonesian coal into New Zealand every month to keep the lights on, because they know that the most important thing in, an important, in, a, in a modern economy is a secure, resilient energy system, something that was destroyed as our sovereign risk collapsed after the unwise decision made about oil and gas. Gas will be around for at least another 30 years. Gas will be, gas under this bill, where it's needed, will be processed in a professional, timely fashion. There will be those who exaggerate, those who worsen the prospects under the rubric of climate change, Clim climatologists, climatarians, Join the fray. These are items of debate for the development of our country. Our country is going to grow at long last because this bill will not only build dams, open mines, 
develop infrastructure, it has the Ruatani for clothes. Kia ora tātou.